Hey guys, Tim here, JK Boots. Today we want to talk about the difference between composite versus steel toe, pros and cons, and why we recommend certain ones over the others. And so we we'll hope to kind of answer all of your questions. So first, let's start with a hard toe, just hard toes in general. Um, in any case, in any situation, if you can avoid having a hard toe for comfort, that's always better. Hard toe, you know, any kind of hard toe, whether it's fiberglass, composite, steel toe, celastic, whatever, you know, it's a material that's going inside of a boot, which the boot is a moldable, flexible, it breaks in, it, it's, it's all leather. And you're, you're putting in a material that is not that way. And so those two worlds always kind of collide. So there is a chance always with any kind of composite or steel toe that it could cause a level of discomfort. For someone that's more, for someone that's less. So that's why I mentioned if you can get away, then get away. But if you can't, then there are things that we can do and options that we can take that can we can get the best comfort and it can be the best you know case scenario for your boots. So let's first dive into composite toe. Composite toe looks something like this. Uh, it can come in different kind of variations, but it is a fiberglass material and it's you know pre-molded and it's made for us by it's totally ASTM certified, so we're not making it. And so when we receive it, <clears throat> we install it into the boot. Composite toe naturally has a larger toe box. It has a more space for the toe. And it's also just a little bit bigger. And one of the pros and things that that does is it gives a lot more toe room. We would often hear about steel toe, which we'll kind of dig into later, that it's a little bit of a narrower toe profile and can sometimes cause a lot of pinching on the pinky toe area. And so we, we just heard that time and time again. And when we started using the composite toe, we literally noticed how that drastically diminished. Like we heard less and less complaints about, oh, I can feel my pinky toe rubbing or, oh, I can feel my big toe rubbing. And that just stopped simply because the composite toe was larger. So that is a pro. Uh, and that is a benefit that I believe that the composite toe carries for comfort and fit. A con or a negative that it carries is that because it's bigger, it's bigger. It looks a little bulkier and it looks a little funnier when you install it into a boot. Now that's all, you know, the beauty is in the eye of the beholder and it's really up to the perspective of the wearer. We do many, many composite toes and from time to time we'll, you know, hear or we get asked, man, does it have to be that large? And unfortunately, that's kind of a little bit out of our control and that's just the way that the composite toe comes and fits on the toe shape. But it's kind of like form over function, comfort over beauty, which one are you gonna shoot for? And if you're looking for just the most comfortable safety toe option, it's by far gonna be the composite toe. Uh, furthermore, with the composite toe, what's really nice from a safety perspective is that if something does fall on your foot, if something heavy does fall off and it's heavy enough to do some damage, the composite toe will crack and take the blow. Steel toe can sometimes come down on your foot and kind of bend. So that's one of the reasons that we're happy with the composite toe and why we like it and we feel that it's a little bit safer is that it will actually just crack and take the blow. It won't like come down and, and bend onto your toes. Um, the third thing that I would say is temperature. So when it comes to temperature, um, cold, hot, especially cold, I think that's more the biggest one, composite toe is unaffected. It's a fiberglass material, it's not metal. It won't make the rest of your boot feel cold, whereas steel toe can possibly do that. So those are kind of the couple biggest things with composite toe. We make more composite toes than we do steel toes. We've had really good feedback with them, and you know, we're ever increasingly trying to figure out ways to make them look better, feel better all the time. And just kind of a cool visual is that any kind of hard toe will sit you know, right in there, like I'm showing you on this one, on this cut in half. So it's literally installed right between the vamp and the lining. Moving over to steel toe, this is what a steel toe looks like. Um, same kind of program where we're not making the steel, obviously, it comes to us and it's ASTM certified and we're installing it into the boot. Steel toe is not bad. I don't wanna make it sound like it's bad. It is a good hard toe, safety toe option. Um, they actually meet the both the same ASTM ratings. So whether or not steel toe increases the, uh, the, the rating of the composite toe, if it's stronger, I can't confirm, but I know that they meet the same. So the, the ASTM certification comes on both of these toes. With steel toe, what is good is that it looks a lot better. It's a lot less conspicuous. It's a lot less bulgy. It's a lot less like you almost can't tell that you're the hard toes in the boot. So again, beauty is in that of the beholder. If that's what you're looking for, steel toes are really, really good option. It's also, I believe, a good option for someone who has more of a narrower or shallow foot. Um, sometimes with composite toe, when you have an increased toe box, it can actually change the fit or feel of the boot. It can actually make the boot feel larger than it is. And so if you feel like you have a low volume or like a shallower foot, the steel toe will actually do really well for you because it'll help with fit and help keep the fit a little bit more form fit is the word that I would use. 
So now the big question is really, you know, which is better? Um, I have a personal opinion on this. I believe the Composito is way better. I believe it's better for the reasons that I mentioned. It doesn't get cold. It's m less likely to sever your toes. It's more comfortable in the boot and you have more space in the toe. The, the con, the really the biggest con or negative with Composito is simply the, the bulge or the look. Whereas steel toe mitigates that because it's naturally more of a shallow and kind of a narrower toe box. But when you go a shallower and narrower toe box, you're losing the comfort that's provided in a composite toe. So really, again, it just comes down to your personal opinion and personal preference and what you're willing to lose to gain or what you're willing to gain to lose. So it's really, it's really up to you. If it was me and I was building the most indestructible boot that I had to take into every part of the world, into every environment, I would go composite toe hands down because I know it's not going to make my feet cold. It's not going to make my feet hot. I'm going to be comfortable in it all day. And if something does fall on my foot, I know I'm good. I'm not going to lose my pinky. So that's kind of where I'm at and that's kind of where, where my thinking is. And you know, you could, you should, I recommend you to try both. I think that some customers have an expectation with steel toe that maybe is not met, vice versa. So it's really, again, just comes down to what is best for you. You should try both. You should try, okay, well, you know, maybe the composite toe made my toe, you know, pinky toe feel good, but it felt really big and I didn't like the fit. Whereas steel toe, yeah, there was a little bit of pressure on the pinky toe, but I like the overall fit greater. So that could be your case in your scenario or the other way around. So it's, it's not that you can, you can make a mistake here or go wrong. It's more about which one is better for you. If it was to me, I think composite toe is the better choice, but I'll leave that up to you to decide. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos. Ask questions in the comments below and we'll try to answer them. Thank you so much.